hi everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how i make my diy on carrot oil so i'm using a, a fresh carrot as you can see i've already it's already washed and peeled so i'll just go ahead and grate it this is my grate i'm just going to grate it for you guys to see it's very easy you can make yours at home okay guys i just finished grating my my carrots this is i'm going to use olive oil and i'm using the extra veggie olive oil olive oil is high in antioxidant content and it helps maintain scarf and hair it prevents hair from cell damage and also nourish the, and condition the hair at the same time and it also improves its quality one cup of olive oil i believe one cup is uh is going to be okay then I will just wait for about uh, 10 seconds. I just want it to warm up a little bit. Let's talk about uh, the carrots, the benefit of carrot while waiting for this just for 10 seconds. Okay, it helps to stimulate growth of new cells. Applying carrot oil to your hair and scalp. So I'll just go ahead and add my, my carrot in the olive oil. So I'll just go straight ahead. You can see how I reduce the volume but I, don't, I don't want it to be on a high you have to cook on a very low low heat so you can see on my on my the number of my of my gas or stove is already in number two so this is how you have to cook i have to cook this for a while i'm going to leave it for a very long time okay let's talk about the benefits of carrot like i said it helps in stimulating new head growth and it also is a natural source of vitamins A, E and beta carotene and it offers much needed moisture to dry scalp. Carrot oil has antibacterial properties and healing properties. Carrot oil infuses a lot of moisture into a hair and into the hair and scalp. So this oil I'm going to use it on my on my hair and on my baby's hair. And like I said, whatsoever I apply on my hair, I also apply on my baby's hair. So guys, just keep watching. The most important of all, make sure you are low heat. You don't want it to get burned. You don't want all those ingredients to just fly, fly out. You know what I mean? Just follow the instruction. guys i'm just going to allow it sit i'm done with my with the cooking so i'm just going to allow it sit for a while then this is my jar this is what i'll be using to store my my oil so i have this uh, is an old jar that i got from from another from another how will i put it oh it's an old jar here yeah, from that is used for storing veggies so i didn't throw my away it's an empty one so i just i decided to keep it maybe it can be useful for something else and so this is the day it's not me buying another jar i prefer using this one and as you can see it can be stored very well because this one is not going to allow air to go in so if you want to store yours maybe there are other good jars out there you can buy if you don't want to buy if you have an old jar that you know that it's not going to allow air to go in be very free to use it okay guys keep watching okay guys i just discovered i have okay guys i just discovered i have another empty container which normally comes with almond oil almond oil and this is this this container is really see air cannot go in there so guys this is what i'm going i will be using instead of this so i just change it so i'll just go ahead and use the use the strainer to bring out all the juice sorry not all the juice oh to bring out the oil hey guys this is my oil this is my oil guys as you can see at least i i almost have i got half of this uh can so it's okay for me so it's going to last me at least for a while even if it's uh for one month or two months i believe it's going to be okay so guys that's all i have for this video as you can see this jar is really this bottle is really tight 
there is really tight so air cannot go in there so make sure you have if you want to do it at home make sure you're able to get a container or a jar or anything that you know that is going to cover that is not going to allow air to go in there according to what i read this can be stored for for use for for about eight months you can you can keep it for for about eight months but mine is not going to to get to that point to that you understand so guys that's all i have for this video so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if today's your first time seeing this video please hit the red button down below and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified each time i upload a new video thanks for watching i really appreciate you guys thanks a lot bye